Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For our next deck, which is going to be Azorius Visitation. So you can see up here that, that this is a donation deck that we had to try out. And this one looks really sweet. So basically what we, what we have here is we're going to be trying a Divine Visitation deck. That's, you know, the, the namesake card. So each token that would be created under our control while we have Divine Visitation in play will be created as a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying and vigilance instead of whatever other text it was supposed to have. So cards like Tezzeret that usually tick up and make a 1-1 Thopter will now make a 4-4 angel. Karns minus 2. Instead of making that construct, it'll make the 4-4 angel. Dovin's minus 1 will make a 4-4 angel. These will be 4-4 angels, so they will not be angel knights. They will not get the third chapter bonus, but they'll still be just 4-4 angels and so on. Tithe Taker, whenever it dies, that afterlife token, Deputy will make some 4-4 angels. This makes tokens when it transforms, but the treasure tokens are not... Um, 4-4 four, four angels because it's only creature tokens <laughs> so it's not like treasure map's going to transform and make 4-4 four, four angels but that's kind of what we're, we're trying to do here so, though so we're just basically an azorius mid-range deck uh with just like some some uh different value cards in it where divine visitation can make most all of our cards just so much better uh besides that we just have a little bit of removal with some seal aways and deputy of detentions and that's our deck Memorial Glory can make some tokens as well for Visitation. Some good synergy there with the White Memorial. So yeah, that's kind of our deck. Uh, sideboard, we got Sky Tether for aggro decks. Mono Blue, even Drakes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have Negates and Disdainful Stroke for uh, control decks, of course. Settle for other creature decks. Teferi for another card advantage engine against mid-range and control. And Mass Manipulation against other uh, Planeswalker decks and decks like Sultai. Mid-range decks, they'll go a while. So, you need two Lyras in a Visitation deck to give your angels plus one, make them 5-5 five, five angels with lifelink. Hmm. Lyra's the mascot in a Visitation deck. Well, we, got enough, we have a lot of Mythics already, so hopefully this will uh, do pretty good for us. I am pretty skeptical on how Deputy Detention is going to fare in this deck where it doesn't kill people very fast and doesn't really protect Deputy of Detention. I'm pretty skeptical about this card. Like, I, I'm not sure if this card would be better than just Ixalan's Bindings, like just playing four Ixalan's Bindings. I, I feel like Binding would just is would be better than d Detention in general, uh, but we'll we'll kind of see here. That's that's one thing that, looking at the deck list, it all looks okay, but that's the, the card that I don't like. But we'll we'll see how it plays out. All right, Azorius Visitation. Do the Carn Angels get the Carn ability too? No, they're just uh, they're just four four angels with flying and vigilance, so they don't have the other text on it, like the they get plus one plus one for each artifact kind of thing. Our deck is basically filled with lands, rares, and mythics. And seal away. <laughs> that silly seal away. Good time to have Memorial to Glory. All right, so it looks like four color gates. So basically, options are here. Play Tithe Taker, like we did. Next turn, we can attack for two and can play Treasure Map and tap it and scry. Or I could have played the, the Treasure Map last turn, but then we'd just be playing Tithe Taker and scrying with Treasure Map, so it wouldn't really help us out too much there. 
It's kind of the problem with Seal Away, is it doesn't stop Gatebreaker Ram. I'm not too confident that playing another Tithe Taker means that we'd be able to take out Gatebreaker Ram. This is certainly a matchup where Ixalan's Binding would be so much better than Deputy of Detention. So Deputy, we play that, take the Ram. I guess we get both Rams, but they just ablaze and kill the... Kill the Deputy. Um, it's kind of sad. I really want that card. I don't, I don't really know what we're going to be doing here. Will I be able to triple block a Gatebreaker Ram? Like, maybe. It's possible that they have that ramp spell to make these things even bigger. I certainly understand playing Seal Away instead of Baffling End. I don't, I don't hate it, but this is just an unfortunate scenario where Baffling End would be a whole lot better. Or if we had Baffling End instead of Seal Away and then... And then binding instead of deputy. Yeah, we'll have sideboard. We'll have settle, and we'll have mass manipulation. You know, mass can certainly be slow when they have turn three ram, turn four ram. We do have enough treasure maps for now. So we'll have settle. Ah, sky tether. Sky tether is perfect. Perfect. Definitely perfect. Kind of like all those cards. Seal Away is still good against their other creatures that are not Ram. Tithaker's just not slowing anything down. Just doesn't matter. History of Benalia is basically only good when you have Visitation in play. Still even then. I don't know. Disdainful Stroke is good against Circuitous Route and Explosion. This can cop this can combo with seal away to get rid of a ram. Deploy just does nothing. For the most part. I guess if we have visitation in play. It'll be good. No, 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 I'm clicking done. Oh, clicking done, come on.
Tilt. Well, we'll see if this aggro plan works with Tithe Taker into history. So I was not able to click done. I clicked it, you know, just a millisecond too late. And therefore, we're just playing the original deck with no sideboarding in it. So that's why we have Type Taker Deputy still in. Best chance of stealing this game is getting very aggressive here and hoping they don't have Gates of Blaze for this turn. As long as they don't have Gates of Blaze, we have a shot. Like, we're basically going to win if they don't have Gates of Blaze. If they play Ram. I want them to play Ram. Just play Ram. So we can tap the ram, attack them for 14. Dang. So they're at a, a really annoying four life. Where if they have a blaze now, I don't quite have lethal. I could have three attack, like three power uh, between the afterlife or the tithe taker and the two creatures for deploy. But they didn't have a blaze next turn, so hopefully they don't have it. They didn't have a last turn. Seriously? Uh, well, they found it. We can put them down to one. This costs four to sack. Okay, so they're down to one and I have Memorial to Glory up. No, not Plaza of Harmony, no. I was thinking that we could get them with the Memorial to Glory, even through another sweeper. Plaza puts him up to four. Okay, those are not sweepers. Yeah, war boss with visitation. War boss does give those those angels haste. Do we got him? Whew! We got there. Now we get to actually sideboard. Now we get to take out all that, all those cards that we drew. All right. So this, 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 those, those. those and that kind of wish we'd have some disenchant effects that were not deputy of detention is settle that good though you can have to settle equals really good all right what's what's the card that's not good then dovin Yeah, I can cut a couple Dovin. Finale at least can hit hard and steal games. Dovin's just kind of whatever. 
Oh, I'm bringing Disdainful Stroke instead of the other Dovins. Kind of do. Yeah, we'll actually click done this time. Yeah, they could have had Archway Angel there that last turn. They had six mana to having the plaza. That would have been death for us. Alright. And stuck on land a little bit again. Really hope our opponent is creature heavy, or just not not guild summit, basically. I think that's the one thing that, looking at the deck, I, I don't like that we don't have any answer for guild summit, or enchantments, or wilderness reclamation, anything except for deputy of detention. <laughs> I don't want to keep going on about it, but I, I would much prefer to have Ixalan's binding over deputy of detention. Okay, there. I think I've said that enough now. So obviously Sky Tether is not good at stopping a ram from blocking. It's not good at helping history Banali tokens get in. <laughs> Green Hammond says, this is a pur purveyor of jank. I loathe Ixalan's Binding. Ixalan's Binding is just really good against Jake decks. That's true. The song is Careless Whisper by Prismo. It's a it's their addition to the song. Are you certain of your decision? So I guess this is where our settle comes in. Ugh, 7-4 Vigilant Trample Lifelinks. Hopefully no Counterspell. Hooray! And also speaking of hooray, Aragorn976, staying on that two-month streak. Thank you so much, Aragorn. Man, our sub-battle countdown is still going down. We're doing pretty good with that. Sorry, right, whenever each sub, knocking a number off here, whenever this gets down to zero. Uh, tier two subs, you know, knocking off two numbers, of course. Tier three subs, six numbers get knocked off. And whenever that gets down to zero, we're going to be choice. playing, taking a day to just have uh, me against subscribers all day. It'll be a whole lot of fun. Uh, information in the info panel about it. And if you want to join and or you would like access to 22 amazing emotes to be able to use in this channel or any others, consider hitting that sub button. Thing's kind of big. They're keeping two mana up. Your patience is rewarded.
All right, we'll just tether that crisis. Oh no, crushing canopy. No, and guild summit. No. Yeah, I know the yeah the rampage of the clans duck. Yeah, I know the deck you're talking Please about. Stop. Why not lead with tether? Because I don't want to steal the creature after it doesn't have defending and flying anymore. Like whenever it has defender, I don't want to take the creature anymore. Choice. I should have upkeep scryed there. Could have maybe drawn that. Visitation. Well, I don't think it would get deleted from the stream decker. Should still be on there. Resolve. The seal away is gone. That's what happens when you have two different crushing canopies. Yeah, so we could steal this crisis. We we cast seal away on the crisis to exile it, and then they. Cast Crushing Canopy to destroy our seal away so that whenever Krasis came back, it was just a 0 0. So that's what Krasis says. It says it's a 0 0. Um, you know, it did not have any counters on it whenever it came back in. <laughs> Thanks, Vexus. Yeah, that's true. I guess that is a good point. My outfit and the. Deck do match today. This, that, that means it's a donation deck that somebody donated to see play. And there's information about donation decks down below if you're interested in donating for, a, for your own deck. If you'd like to see your deck on stream. Hey, beer guy. Welcome to the channel. Right, let's, let's get this keep this going down come on where we go there we are 114 the other thing is um with our with some of our, our sponsors over here that we are working towards 12 hour goals with all of them you can either get a free or a reduced donation deck as well um if you place an order with quip or movement you get a free donation deck and then with MeUndies, you only get you can get a five dollar donation deck, and with Harry's a ten dollar donation deck. All right, visitation time. Ever truly lost. This will keep an eye on you. 
So I, I can use both of the treasures to cast the seal away still, if need be. We've seen our opponent use two negates so far. I'm going to just try to do a double block here first, though, instead of using the two treasures. The opponent's down to 23 cards. Because we may have to deck our opponent. Uh oh. This could this could be where it gets bad for us. This is not looking good. Yeah, so I think we're gonna be. Yeah, I think we're gonna go grab that settle as a minus. I hope they don't have a counter spell though. That's the problem: is if our opponent has a counter spell or not. Those didn't help. Decisive action is needed. I guess I could have zero Tezzeret and drawn to before that other thing. Silent, obedient perfection. Yeah, if my opponent has a counter spell. I can't stay alive even with this this block. I guess I should have just Tezzeret zeroed. Because I, I do have four negates in the deck also, and I haven't seen a single one. Yeah, I should have Tezzeret zeroed. I mean, they're not going to just counter the seal away and let Settle resolve. They know about the Settle in my hand. That worked. That worked. They were scared of the Absorb in my hand. It worked. It worked. Hey, thanks for that sub luck, Tino. I should have I'll keep scried. I was too baffled that that worked. It's all good though, like just scrying before we... Draw here is fine. We're still scrying before a draw, so whether it's upkeep or whether it's our main, main phase, it's not a big deal. Either way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why our opponent attacked all. But I approve. Return. I 
I think our opponent's just gonna bane fire us for 18. I think that's their plan. They've played bane fire game one and game two. They have not played it in game three. I will defend my allies. Well chosen. My device is finished, as are you. Whoa, crazy pyro. <laughs> the big time po the big time pog tan Pog champ cheer. Thanks, Crazy Pyro. <laughs> Very kind. Yeah, it's so for some reason, this happens whenever we go really late into a game like this, and when there's a ton of game objects. And there's just nothing I can do about it for now. Until later in, like, June or July, whenever I move to a better place. So I'm sorry about that. It's the internet. I've called the internet company and tried to try to figure it out, but there's just not much to do about it. I mean, I want to find counter magic. Uh, I should have. Again, I cracked my treasure first to just kind of see what I wanted to do with Tezzeret, but that means we don't have three artifacts now. Remember, Karn minus two makes an angel, doesn't make an artifact. So I'm only drawing one with Tezzeret now. I guess I could just draw with this thing first. All right, there's a negate. Awaken. Ultimate Tezzeret just doesn't really matter. At end step, we put a permanent card onto the battlefield. That just doesn't doesn't do a whole lot for us. At this point in the game, it's basically whether we die to Bane Fire or not. Yeah, Shade Slayer, I'm, I'm planning on moving back to Texas, but it'll be sometime around June or July. And I am planning to move somewhere in the Dallas Metroplex. I have no idea where. Just anywhere where I can get, like, Verizon Fios and get good internet. Because I know, I know some of y'all are tired of this happening with the lag um, when we get late in games like this, but I'm, I'm just as tired. Or maybe even more tired of it than all of you. And I do apologize about it. But bringing the room back up, as I was bringing it down there, we have Don Robo with the Twitch Prime sub for the second month in a row saying, You're my favorite TCG streamer. And Dalek also with the Twitch Prime sub. So thank you. Thanks to both of y'all. Get some hype votes in the chat for our subscribers there. I live in Roanoke, Virginia right now. But I also live... I live outside of, like, the actual town of Roanoke. I live up in the mountains. And I have Cox Cable as my internet provider right now, and... 
I'm supposed to get a lot more upload speed than I do, and it's it just like my upload speed just varies crazily throughout the day. And around this time, this like rush hour time, when I guess there's a lot of other people online, they're like home from school and and work and all that kind of stuff. It it dips at times. So I guess I'm just looking for counter magic right now and we can ultimate Tezzeret. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. I don't know, does Ultimate Tezzeret really do anything for us? My opponent's taking a while to let things resolve. Let's slow this down. Because this is that end step we put some permanent card onto the battlefield. I guess I can go get like a history here. My victory is imminent. Still never found a counter spell. Still have those four counter spells in there. Yeah, specifically Banefire, we cannot counter. We have like their creatures down. They have to kill us with like Banefire or Explosion. Oh my gosh. I need to just kind of reset here after this. It's getting pretty laggy here. We do have lethal. Unclear if our opponent realizes that, if they did realize it or not. That's why I got history to make sure we could have the, the five tokens with our memorial last turn. What? Hold that thought. It's definitely negate was the next card, hundred percent. Some solutions must be built. I have faced evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Do you really think? 
think you can keep up with me? Oh, 21? Oh, I guess we're only dealing 16 right now. We don't have to be too worried about milling out, I don't think. That's the card we couldn't beat, though. That was the card we couldn't beat. So, yeah, so my last turn, obviously, I, I played that last turn horrendously. It was just, I, you know, we're just kind of talking and stuff, and Settle the Records was not on my radar whatsoever. So, what I should have done, because we had lethal and everything, is I should have not only obviously activate the Teferi first, that's, you know, definite, you know, draw a card there, but then also just activate the Karn with a tick up to reveal two cards, looking for a counter spell, where we had the other Karn in hand, where we could then just replay the other Karn to get a counter spell kind of thing. So obviously I should have done all of that first before attacking. Settle just wasn't really on my radar, we were just kind of talking about other stuff, and um, we would not have necessarily won if I would have plus one before attacking we don't know that I was going to be drawing the negate because remember my library was shuffled after the settle because and then I got the basic land out. So we don't we don't know what the top card would have been or like the next couple top cards. We do know that we drew a card with Arch of Orozco that wasn't a counter spell. Of course that was Hall Hallowed Fountain, but we don't know what the next couple of cards were because we shuffled and got a basic land out. Okay, so yeah, good call. Let's let's just. Get a reset in here anyway, though. As far as I know, I'm already streaming on 720. No, it says 1080. I know that's something I've changed before. I've also heard from some people that whenever we talk about the stream lagging, um, like I've one friend on mobile that, that says that they don't see it at all. They don't see the lag at all, and so I wonder if it's if it maybe it's not lagging for everybody. We have two. We have two cards that can gain life. Uh, Depose, deploy. Deploy can gain life. We had both of those two cards sideboarded out in that matchup. Go, Dovin, go. If I'm impressed, I anyone would be so foolish as to face me. Dovin, I guess, also can gain life. Uh, we didn't have Dovin in, in our deck either. You're doing me a favor. I will fight. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. All right, we're going aggro. Do I even want the treasure map? I'll keep stop here. With 
my insight shock. I didn't foresee this. A shock. I think it's pretty likely our opponent has a counter spell here. I want to the cast the Tithe Taker. Reveal who we are. Instead of Dovin. Lethal says, hey Todd, what's the wall deck you played on like five or Saturday? I honestly don't don't know exactly what you're referring to there, Lethal. I haven't played a wall deck. Like an Arcades strategic deck. I haven't I've have not played one of those before. Knock at the land. <laughs> yeah, yet. Not played one of those yet. Yeah, so Karn's token said that it was a 4 4 at the time of the Deafening Clarion. But once the Deafening Clarion killed both of the two Thopters, then I only had the treasure map and the Karn token in play, so we only had two artifacts in play. And so Karn's artifact was then a 2-2, two -two, and it had 3 damage on it from the Deafening Clarion. And then the two this toughness could not keep it alive even me. after that. A curious choice. Wow, we do not have lands this time. So I'll just have Deploy available. I didn't want to throw a Divine Visitation into a counter spell there. We have like, what, four dead cards? I, mean, I guess Deputy could take the Escanta, but that's never gonna work. Correct, damage all happens at once. So the, dam the damage does all happen at once. But also the damage stays on until I know my the end of turn. So our opponent already played a land. We need to move quickly. Not sure exactly what I want to do here. How convenient. An excellent choice. Attacking them down from, from six to two doesn't really I mean it it means these creatures kill them the next turn, but they can certainly just kill my creatures. It doesn't really advance us. 
too much, but we don't have lethal on Teferi either, which is also not good for us. So basically what I'm saying is I don't like either of our, like, I don't like any of our options here. I don't want to extend more necessarily. I think here I'm willing to have Divine Visitation get countered. That means they don't activate as Kanta. They still have the counter spell up. I don't want to play Tezzeret into it. So I'll play the Deputy here that will likely die. And then we'll hit them down to two. Why can't you just be Ixlon's this Binding, is Deputy? My worst defeat. <laughs> Thanks, B. Yeah, I've been a Magic player for a long time and then started streaming after that. B said, uh, You're good, Todd. You really explain magic concepts, like how damage works really well. Shows you're a Magic player that streams instead of a streamer that came into Magic. Oh, man. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Goblin. Time out. Basically, what, uh, Seb... Sebus said it is really the best thing. Um, yeah, your LGS closed down three years ago. You want to play standard again. You don't know any of the cards. The best thing kind of do is just to get your feet, your feet wet and just kind of download Arena and start playing, start learning. You know, and you know, watching streams here also is is good as well. That's it's honestly the best. There's not really anything better to do than those two. To the nth power, carry the one. Yep. Uh, what do I consider a good record in this kind of me. league? Uh, three and two is a good record. And yeah, that's winning 60%, which is pretty nice. Look at all. It is the ideal subordinate. The other thing is. Going three and two is harder to do here, like in this this specific league here on Arena. Not from a, I'm not saying Hold from a standpoint boss. of your competition. I'm just mathematically, it's harder to go three and two in this kind of structure where your second loss eliminates you than if you were playing well, a five round F and M, for example, like where it's just Swiss pairings. And you could start 0-2 and then win three in a row and you go 3-2. That's almost everything in Magic, structurally wise, is Swiss. In like those kind of structures where you can start with the losing record and, and finish by winning some matches in the 0-2 bracket and kind of finish with a 3-2. Where with this, once you get your second loss, you're done. So if you go lose-lose, you're out. So the only way to go 3-2... and two is to be 3-1 before your second loss. And so if you kind of look at it that way, you have to win. To be able to go 3-2, and two, you have to be able to win 3 out of 4 in this structure. And that's not really that easy, winning 3 out of 4. I think a lot of people would think, okay, a deck went 3-2, like our, our Demir Zombie Mill earlier went 3-2. So maybe it was just like 2-2, two, two, and then it won its last one. You know, it was like 500, and then it won one. Well, you... You can't actually do that in, in this structure. So this, this structure actually makes it a little bit harder to to have those kind of records. Like that's, that's why a lot of times people think, or people see that like if you go two two in this, you get your you get your entry fee back. So that like that's pretty good. Like you get you know you get like the free entertainment, uh, you get your entry fee back. You win some um, some random cards too from the card rewards by just going two two there thinking okay we just got to be 500 but it's you do have to be two and one to be able to get that so you have to be able to win two out of three to, to be able to get to to two wins on here
So, you know, of course, I'm not not really speaking about a, a competitive standpoint kind of thing, but I'm just a purely mathematical standpoint. It's harder to get two or three wins just mathematically than in Swiss. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, they have to do something here. I don't really have... Like, drawing Karn with a treasure cove it doesn't help us too much. Or just zeroing Tezzeret to draw Karn. Doesn't help us clear out this Crackling Drake at all. We do know that whatever they want to do costs an extra mana because of Tithe Taker. The big problem with this attack, though, is if they have some kind of removal for my 4 4, then they would get to be able to chump the Tithe, or be able to just kill the Tithe Taker very easily. Some solutions must be built. Yeah, we have the Sarah Angel Factory. They didn't get any value out of that other Ascanta. Ooh, let's see what we got. Opponent didn't use the mana. They flipped the new Ascanta, didn't use the mana from the old one. That was just not not a good flip. If you want, like, before the trigger, you could activate Ascanta and then go and get a new Ascanta, and it basically only takes three mana to let's activate your Ascanta. Arkniak, it's going really well. Howdy. Speaking of that, I should probably finish up making this YouTube thumbnail for Demir Zombie Mill so that I can put that up on YouTube. It's all ready to go once I get this thumbnail. Okay, almost done. Let's do Justice Strike. Alright, one down. All right, that one's up on YouTube now. <laughs> Games are very long with this deck. The Zombie Mill deck was a pretty long league as well. 
But this, even if we lose this and go 0-2, we still got our money's worth. Actually, I do not... I do not have any pirates decks. I like the old days. I don't really have anything to do. They're about to be able to ultimate this Rao. What is going on here? I can't really stop them. I don't... I don't really feel like ticking up Karn. Oh wait, what? I have deputy detention I could have just gotten? Really? Interesting. I, mean, I can still do that. I guess I can just take the Rao. I did not realize I had any cards to get with Karn, honestly. There's a lot of cards over here. I have three Karns. This game has been very long. <laughs> I honestly forgot I had any cards. I have three other Karns over here? I feel like I've already played other Karns. Oh, I had my Karn tucked. I guess that was a thing. I really should get back to the lab. My device is finished. As are you. Alright, at least Ral does an ultimate at least. I could have, you know, uh, tried, could have taken a blocker and, and tried to force through the win there. That's awesome, Plat Perspective, saying, I've been playing the hell out of quasi duple Ooze, and I'm like 7-2 with it. What a great deck. That is awesome. Yeah, what a, that's, that's one of my favorite decks to play these days. Simic Adapt is very, very similar that we're going to be playing up next. I do also have another no bounty to do today that we could do in between in between this league and the next league. Uh, it's for Dick Sporting Goods Baseball. Like them promoting all their baseball products. Hey, what's up, Dirk? <laughs> yeah, we do have a lot of epic matches, that's for sure. Okay, we got there. That was game one. That was a pretty crazy game one. No, draft is not free. There's a couple different versions of draft. There is a there is a version of draft that costs five thousand gold. And while that's not obviously not free, it costs five thousand gold. You do get gold. You don't have to spend any money to get gold. You get gold each day by doing daily quests. You can get anywhere. You can get between twelve hundred fifty and fifteen hundred gold each day, depending on what what kind of quest you get. So basically, you get a free draft every four-ish days. Uh, so we want Negate, Disdainful Stroke. Just get Deputy out here. I want Manipulation to Fairy. I don't know, Tithe Taker's a little weird. I kind of like Tithe Taker. On one end, but the other end is just like this crappy two one. Oh wait, seal away. But they have like all those drakes that I kind of need to seal away those drakes. Kind of need these seal aways. They can like tuck the seal aways and get them back. Hmm.
I'm just going to take out the seal away. Hopefully we don't die to drakes. I have the mass manipulation still. This is probably too greedy on my end. Basically, if we have divine visitation, we don't really have to worry about the drakes. Either. Yeah, it could certainly be worth it to run some guild gates in a deck like this if you want to... If you kind of need, like, a land that can be both colors of mana, absolutely, it could be worth it. I don't mind playing, especially one one guild gate in ninth duel in a lot of two-color decks uh, where you don't really have a whole lot of things to do early. You don't mind the tap land. I think it's certainly reasonable. For example, the quasi duple Ooze deck, I know I have one Simic Guild Gate in that one. And that one even has like Land War Elves and a bunch of two drops. But it also has difficult mana with Jade Light Ranger and Quasi Duplicate. So it has like double green and double blue. And then even Frilled Mystic in the sideboard. They go Clarion, I negate it, I untap and play Visitation, hit him for 8. They go Crackling Drake, I Disdainful Stroke it. What do you want to do, Karaka? Karacha? Any day now. There you go. I guess I could also just dove in and have Disdainful Stroke up. Hmm. Nah, I really like having this thing in play. Just makes all of our cards so much better. news with that you have been I have been benefited from another success bad news is our deck doesn't have any enchantment removal in it besides that one three that we took out so can't get rid of that oh i have a teferi okay there is a teferi in the deck never mind that exxon's binding is good as gone we have a teferi somewhere in the deck Well, I cannot cast that. So we should probably put it to the bottom. Hmm. I can go with the treasure map. Attack! Hmm. 
Hmm. I could let that hit Dovin. What? My treasure map. But... Alright. Biggins with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Biggins. Thanks for that support, Biggins. I really do appreciate that. This tech gimmick is worth it. Down to 110. I didn't scry because I used the mana to cast Deputy instead. Yeah, this is... It's gotta be a good game, right? Even without the negate, us having the disdainful stroke is, is nice, where we also have Memorial on their end step. Also, so like... They need Clarion plus Counterspell just to clear the board, but then we still have Memorial to Folly. So I, I don't think our opponent has a has an out. I don't think there's anything in the format they could they could have. I think they're taking my things. You ain't taking my stuff. We got more things. Not sure exactly why they want an entrancing melody against our against a token deck. But oh well. We are one and one. <laughs> so far in two leagues I've cast one red or green spell. What was the red or green spell I cast? Oh, I cast a Hydroid Crisis that I hostage takered with the blue black deck. We took a hostage taker or we hostage takered a that's what it was. <laughs> All right, one and one, and real close to to being two zero right now. I, I, as we saw, like the end of that game three against Gates that was so long, where we were attacking for lethal. I could have maybe found a a counter spell before the settle. Could certainly be two zero right now. Thanks, Biggins. Yeah, glad you're liking the YouTube channel. So tomorrow we are doing a 12-hour stream from noon to midnight to celebrate getting to the 2,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. If So also tomorrow, that's whenever we're going to have the cosmetic stuff. So if you want to be in the chat here and help convince me of different things to be buying with the gems I have on my account. You know, make sure you're you're here around noon tomorrow for that. We'll we'll see what we want to buy. I kind of want to try to get like some deck. I don't know. I could I could either go for like one deck trying to get all of like the special cards for one specific deck or I could just get like Or I could just go for, like, all the shock lands, maybe. The shock lands are a thousand gems each. I could get all ten, because... I'm thinking shock lands, because they're not going to rotate. So, like, I'll just, you know, have shock lands in every single deck. You know, and... So, basically, every deck we play, the shock land would... Would be... Would be, like, the special version. The cosmetics are dropping tomorrow. Epic. I don't know what. Re Whatever your plan. What, what do you mean by reset day? Likely to fail. 
I started moving turns. I just figured that was gonna get countered and didn't get countered. You're doing me a favor. Your your arena account is never gonna be reset. Like, your arena account's never going away anymore. They have said that many times. Correct. Whenever, whenever some lands rotate, like Glacial Fortress and stuff, like whenever, whenever lands rotate, there will be whatever new lands are printed. Like those will be the new cards in standard. And you'll have to, you know, just when it, it's lands are the same as all the other cards. Like whenever cards from standard rotate, they leave the format, and new cards enter. Do you really think you can keep up with me? Means a weekly reset, pack reset day at the start of the week. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they want whenever people are watching the Mythic Invitational and they they talk about it at the Mythic Invitational. I think that they want people to be able to just sign on to Arena and and buy the cosmetic stuff right away. Why not draw two there? There's just nothing I'm really drawing into. We don't like have any counter spells in our main deck. We don't we don't have like a ton of great things to, to draw into. I'm just getting more pressure on the battlefield and wait. Did I just do nothing with Karn? I think I just let Karn resolve and do nothing. I'm just always expecting my cards to get countered. I'll make use of that later. Um, could have took that up last turn. All good, though. Silent, obedient perfection. <laughs> Weird flex. Yeah, see, we don't even need it. Our opponent's not doing anything. I kind of feel bad for them. Like, do they just only have lands in hand? They've played one card this whole time. One. This is not very many cards. Pretty sure we have a Dovin over here. Yeah. I'm just it's always assuming these cards are going to get countered. By lesser minds. <laughs> huh. So they had like a... Maybe they kept like a 5 lander with like a negate and the... Hiromancer thing. And then drew... All lands. Hmm. So Teferi, all these negates and disdainful strokes. And... Uh, Seal the way out. The visitation. This may be a match of them just taking out all the visitations. I've already seen enchantment removal from them, so I don't really want to get rid of my deputy detentions because I may want to use them to get rid of enchantments, but then they just play a sweeper, my deputies die, and then they just get their enchantment back and exile my planeswalker again. Deputy. Let's see. Tezzer was at 8 loyalty. 
I could not ultimate Tezzeret yet. Tezzeret ultimates at 9 loyalty. To answer that question, let's see. Like, they probably play things that I want to mass manipulate. Probably. I liked Divine Visitation a lot more against Jeskai because they have the Drakes that we need like our four fours to match up with. But if they're not, if they're just like a control deck that's just playing a bunch of sweepers and things, we can just have one ones instead of four fours. We don't really need to spend a card there. All right, Judge Map. Whoops. Get Dove encountered? Or nah. We got the treasure map in play. I think we can just say no. So as you can see over here, like during the match here, I'll just go and do a quick little plug. We have like our different sponsor referrals that we're getting close to to do another 12 hour stream. I like that card. We're going to be having Deploy on end step here. The one I wanted to talk about here is, let's go with Harry's. Harry's, we are five people away there. We've had 15 people sign up. Basically, Harry's is a company that makes very nice German-engineered razors. And you can get their starter set, which is a new razor, the five-blade razor cartridge, and shaving cream sent to you with free shipping for only three dollars that's it and help support this stream also it's just a amazing deal you should definitely check it out how it works is if you go through my referral link that i just put in chat it's also down below in the info panel or you can hit exclamation point harry's uh, no apostrophe to find it um, go through my referral link, get their uh, starter set, which is usually $13. Sign up for a subscription, which gets you $5 off. The subscription is cancelable anytime, so you, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to make future payments or future purchases. If you do the subscription, you can cancel it. But to sign up for the subscription, that makes it $8. And then also use my referral link there. Or sorry, the referral link, but then the coupon code. Sorry, Todd Stevens MTG when you're checking out. And with that coupon code, you'll get another five dollars off, and it's only three bucks. Um So you also have we also have a cool notification thing that pops up on on the channel. Yeah, three dollars, it really is a no-brainer. Agree. So I can flip treasure map now, but then we have to... I'm going to keep Tezzeret. In case something happens to this one. We have to use one treasure. But I think it's worth it to get tre to get Tezzeret on the battlefield. And I think at this point I'd like to draw two. Let's see how you respond to genius. I probably should just be attacking there and not blocking for my Tezzeret. Yeah, I should, I should be attacking there. That's an attack. See if they have a negate as well. We have so, so last thing there, if we have five more people sign up with the referral code and sign in with their Twitch account. Get that referral bonus, then we'll be doing an, another 12 hour stream to celebrate. <laughs> uh, I have not played this the best. 
That should be a triple block. By me. I stand on the shoulders to your of record giants. of bad decisions. <laughs> I learned a few tricks I should have on just attacked with a three or triple blocked. Either one. Not what I just did and let them have their moment of craving kill two things. Alright, so we got Dovin in play. We got Negate back up. So we'll see what our opponent has. Certainly considering... I was I was definitely considering letting that resolve and be able to mass manipulate and take it. I was one bl blue mana short of being able to do that and have negate available. More Thoptas. We will meet again. That's right, opponent. We will meet again. Not just a gadget, <clears throat> but ingenuity. I don't really want this Tezzeret to get countered. I kind of feel like I should have let that their Teferi resolve. And just mass manipulate it. Ooh, resolve. Let's draw two now. Perfection is attainable. Now we we definitely have better things to be drawing into. That's all right. We still draw I one. I know what must be done. I'm gonna shock here to tell my opponent to play around the negate in my hand, or something. I think we can throw that two life away. Let's slow this down. Uh, we don't need to slow this down. I'm inspired by a good assault. Of course. Hmm. Let's give it a try. Sweet. Keep up the pace. Teferi, look at our side. It, it looks way cooler than our opponent's side. Come come join our side. This looks way better. <laughs> Yoink. Now we have special art Teferi. I have never had special art Teferi on my side of the battlefield before. Never had one in, pl in play. Now I do. Never had alternate art to fairy. This is the first time I've had one. 
any ultimate art, alternate art planeswalker that is. Okay, opponent's at 16. Let's see, let's go ahead and tick you up. Hurry! Let's tick you sideways. I know how this ends. We'll tick you up. This is no mere trinket. The Teferi keeps on trying to go back to our opponent. We're like, no, get back over here. And it's like, but I like Eagle Boy. I wonder when that bug's gonna get fixed. I thought it was like a Tristani bug, but I guess it's just like a steal anything kind of bug. More Planeswalkers. Yeah, the DD up there means it's a donation deck that a viewer donated to see played. Uh, sure. Super friends, unite. Let us begin. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Yeah. We got the complete play mat now. Hey, James. Yeah, we have had some long leagues today. Hmm. No, if you stop. Oh, well. I think we're doing okay. All right, you draw a card. Let's skip to the good part. Okay. What's the good part? All right, you look for some more cards. Oh, you are no match for my foresight. I want negate. Do 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 do. I don't really want any of the rest of them. Hmm. Archer Raska. And Karn, I suppose. Basically, just negate was the thing that I wanted. Awaken. My device is finished, as are you. <laughs> All those deputies, they're like, pick me, pick me. Oh, really? I'm attacking for 11 here? I didn't, re I didn't even realize that I could have just played this Dovin and had lethal. I played the new Dovin and minus. I didn't really count it out first. So, could have one there. We'll give our opponent another draw step. But, I mean, let's be honest. We kind of have, we kind of have everything. And we have four Planeswalkers in play. I think we're doing okay. Let me know if you're up. Alright, they're taking their too. Teferi back. It's only fair. Alright, let's get that city's blessing. And draw two, in case we draw another negate. 
You're still one step behind. I'll play this thing, make their stuff cost more. So do they have another settle? And with counterspell backup, it's possible to have... No, it's not possible to have settle plus negate, is it? No. They need with spell pierce. All right, we are two and one. Yeah, we are four and a half hours into the stream today and we have played eight matches. There's been a lot of long games here. <laughs> We're doing a War of the Spark preview with all these Planeswalkers. Yeah, we have the 12-hour stream tomorrow, so we'll see. We may we may push Jeskai Wizards to tomorrow. Night Owl donated for that one, just saying that he'd like me just to play the deck any time at the end of the day. Like, any day. No, so, like, it doesn't specifically have to be today at all. I don't like this Adonis climb. I don't like that Adonis climb one bit. Yeah, our Legends decks will finally be getting new toys. Absolutely. What are you even doing, Dovin? I'll just play you, they'll attack you and kill you. That doesn't sound great. Play my card. Thank you. Uh, you. Uh, Jeskai Wizards. I do have it up on the stream decker. Here's the deck list. A master of machines. No chain whirler. Oh no! Even worse. At least it doesn't give give the creature. Trample. Okay, well that's not the correct time to activate your growth chamber. Activate that. Now I get the free block on the Wild Growth Walker. They could have attacked with both Wild Growth and the other Wild Growth and Growth Chamber. And then if I block Wild Growth with Deputy, then they activate that on. Okay. Deploy is pretty good. I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. So they have just two growth chamber guardians and an incubation druid in hand.
Good call. Upkeep stop. Got to keep getting that upkeep stop going on. Good call. Good call. There they go. Now they figured it out. Really need divine visitation. So they can either kill my deputy or keep their land war elf alive. They can do one of those two. They're keeping land war elf alive. I'm likely going to need to draw two with Tez here. Oh man, Deputy could be really good with these Growth Chamber Guardians. annoying let's tear this no one knows the wilds like I do that's annoying I'm gonna deal with this Vivian now. They don't play any more Growth Chamber Guardians. If they activate Winged Temple of Orozka this turn, then I'll just be deputing the Vivian. So yeah, that's what they're doing. So I'm just gonna be deputing the Vivian. Cease this nonsense! Brilliance comes easily to me. So we got three, six, seven, eight. Ugh. Not dead yet. That's fine. Found by a good assault. No, I, I zero Tezzeret and drew two cards with it. Epic, Linearchy, Dumpy Rude.
Definitely keeping Tezzeret alive. Keep them both alive. Yeah, they couldn't activate climb. I didn't really have any great blocks except for just killing that land where else. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This is just a small example of my genius. This will keep an eye on you. There we go. Okay. They they weren't. Just your use of the word chum. I thought that was. I didn't understand what you're trying to do there with that, but. Yeah, because James was asking, like, why is there no unclaimed territory in the list? And and the reason why is because it's trying to play all those instants and sorceries. That's why there's no unclaimed territory in the wizard's li list. Okay, so they do have the mana to activate Wing Temple. We... Uh, we have a lot of life to work with here. And I can take a hit. You know, they activated on the this five five growth chamber guardian. We'd be taking uh, thirteen, but we we can take a hit for thirteen pretty easily. This kills three of their creatures for them to deal this damage. I don't think that this is too good just attacking me and just leaving the planeswalkers alone. It's it's certainly what I would what I want. Yeah, like that's. King Toll, you can relax. Yes, I won. My opponent just conceded after making the attack. My opponent made that attack. Uh, just attacked me with everything and then conceded. How can you, how could you play and stream on a different computer? Like, how does that even? I don't, I don't understand how that would even work. So some people play on one computer and stream on another computer. That doesn't even make any sense. Hey, Mitten, I have not been playing modern at all. Sixty-seven cards. Tilt. It's a difficult deck to sideboard with. 
Yet again, I was just trying to hit some in and I ran out of time again. Yeah, I have no idea how I'd, I would ever do two computers kind of thing. I should attack first with the Tithe Taker before letting my opponent know that I'm playing a History of Benalia. Anyway, after... Again, after I move this summer, that is something that I am certainly considering doing is getting a new PC ult, but I'm waiting to see how expensive moving is. And if, if I'll be able to then. So do I deputy now and get four points in, and then have this for next turn, or do I just history now and set up for a lot bigger attack next turn? It's not really even that much bigger of attack next turn. It's only just like another four, but it's the turn after is good as well. Hmm. We're attacking for 10 next turn. They go down to 14. Hmm. Another Jade Light. Dang it. Should have waited. Should have history. So unfortunately playing Divine Visitation here doesn't do a whole lot for us because they just play Vivian and kill my Divine Visitation. That does mean that we get to kill Vivian, though, because uh, they'll just have one blocker for Vivian, and we'd have these two attackers. Instead of Vivian ticking up. This thing could feel the wrath of Scala. Hmm. Ah, not again. So no lands in the opponent's hand. So the only two cards are, are spells. Whatever they got. Yeah, Sultai is good. Our opponent's not. No, Sultai is very good. Our opponent's not playing Sultai. They're playing a Simic deck. James, it's better to put your deck list on a third-party site like MTG Goldfish or something, and then link to the, the deck list and copy-pasting in chat.
Um. Hmm. Don't really see any reason to do anything but attack a bunch. I could tick up the Dovin, but with them being at such a low life total already, doesn't make a ton of sense. So we'll just make a Thopter. What do you have, opponent, with your two cards against mono tokens? This is the thermals. Now we can see for the song. No, I was gonna take the crisis. <clears throat> so against the blue green deck, Deputy of Detention was awesome. That was a, a match where Deputy was very good. Probably better than Ixlon's binding would be. And we are three and one. So after a rocky start, we're coming back. Yeah, sideboarding's overrated. That's right. I guess just never sideboard. Always, I keep forgetting to, or not like forgetting, but keep missing it by a second of clicking to sideboard. Yeah, deputy is good when your opponent is playing creatures, or just permanence, when your opponent's playing permanence and also does not have removal. You could have an opponent that doesn't have removal, but they don't have permanence and then doesn't do anything. Esper Blink was pretty fun. We didn't have the most success with it. But it was pretty fun. That video is up on the YouTube channel. If you'd like to check it out there. So we know they don't have any counter magic available. So let's get Dovin in play. Drawing another seal away is not good. I kind of want to deputy the search for Escanta, but... Well, I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Of course, they couldn't counter because we have the Tithe Taker. I mean, they could have... They could have Spell Pierce, but it's just pretty unlikely. The Vax can't be denied. I am beaten. No, you're not beaten. You're still great. Dovin. Come back when you. I'd like to draw another one. Not. We got four of you in here. All is not lost yet. likely wants to insight. Just debating whether I want a treasure map or tithe taker. Alright, that's alright. <laughs> Take a seal away. I dare you. There yet. Yeah, B Golem, I think I'll re I'll re I'm planning on refining the zombie mill deck and playing it again. That was fun to play. And yeah, it was just the first first uh, crack at it. By Mike there, and it did pretty well.
definitely love to be able to throw out deploy here. Sorry, I'm late. Hurry. Don't even care about the deputy. I'm I want to build a Drowned Secrets deck where I cast Return of the Wind and then flash in Narumehe and combo off Drowned Secrets triggered until my opponent mills out. Keep up Do the it. Pace. Do it. So I imagine we're dead. Not really yeah, imagining a scenario where we're alive. Double seal away, double divine visitation. We have four dead cards in our hand. Deputy doesn't do a whole lot either. I mean, I have to take Ascanta, otherwise they just activate Ascanta and kill me. But beating a Teferi is not easy. <laughs> it's like, I, can't, I just can't let them have like the Ascanta activations where we're at here. I certainly can't beat that. I don't know, maybe we beat Teferi somehow? I don't really see how, when they can just tuck the deputy and get their Ascanta back. Yeah, we're just done. We're done here. Alright, so Disdainful Stroke, Negate, Manipulation, and Teferi. Taking out all of the Sealaways, all the deputies. And a Divine Visitation. Could take out more Divine Visitations and keep two Deputies. Nah. Oh, hey, Moo Moo, it's been so long. Been basically taking apart the cube. I think I think they're putting together new cubes there in Denton. Uh, but yeah, my cube, that foiled out cube, uh, took that one, basically took it apart. You know, traded some cards for like whenever I needed decks and everything, and and so on. Still have a, a lot of it, but you know, I probably have like seventy percent of it still, kind of thing. Yeah, the Simic list is posted uh, here. I can find it for you. It's not like posted today. It's a deck that I've played quite a bit in the past. And so it's it's on some other day for Simic Adapt, so I just scroll down and find it. For Simic Adapt, if you just scroll on down. It should be in here somewhere. So I'm gonna need it anyway in a little bit whenever I link it. It's not the same list from three weeks ago, is it? Why does it say three weeks ago? Yeah, actually it is the same list from three weeks ago. Huh. There you go. I know, it's been a long time. Um... Let's see. I mean, I love double history. Yeah, I'll try it. <sighs> moo moo. Things at Chad? Hey, CEO. You're welcome, Dodo player. I was thinking Morgan, but I don't think it's Morgan. That was like my first first thoughts were Morgan. But I, 
I, th I thought Morgan had a different name. Yeah, Morgan's a baby rabbit. One history down. Nope. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Perfect time for Karn. Get us some more cards, Karn. Are you certain of your decision? So after this, if if we do lose this this one, or just whenever this league ends, after this league, I want to remind you all that we we're going to be doing a bounty for Dick Sporting Goods. It's a basically where I just run their 30 second commercial but have to spend a couple minutes just talking about dick sporting goods and then it's something that's uh, pretty beneficial for me to do you know from a monetary standpoint it's a something called Nothing a twitch bounty it's basically lost. little advertisements you can run and it get payout based on viewers here and in particular particular if we don't have at least 500 people in here I don't get paid at all but so if y'all if you wouldn't mind sticking around after this league for just a little bit you know you don't have to you know you can have like the stream muted if you want or, or whatever um, but I'd, I'd really appreciate it okay so Moo Moo oh it's Scott Oh, hey, Scott. Dude, how's... Are you still, like, biking a whole lot and everything? Alright, love having the gates. The, the negate, I mean. Yeah, hey, buddy. Dude, hope hope life's going good. So I am I am planning on moving back to Texas, Scott. Uh, sometime in, like, June or July or so. Alright, let's see. I don't know exactly where. Somewhere in the Metroplex. You know, somewhere where it's not too difficult to get to Denton, at the very least. There are six cards over there. Hmm. I kind of want to keep this on top. Yeah, basically I'm just going somewhere with, Fi with Verizon Fios. Somewhere that's not expensive to live. <laughs> And has Verizon FiOS. Because I, you know, can't really afford something, like, real expensive. So, you know, I'm not going to, like, Frisco or Plano or anything like that. But that's my one stipulation. It's got to have Verizon FiOS, and, and it can't be too expensive. I kind of want to keep this. Nah. As Kanta can kill us just as easily as any creature or planeswalker that my opponent could play. I do have a really good friend who lives in. What if I negate this? No. In Atlanta. Oh, you lost my contact info? Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll send you a text.
Scott, are you not in the the Slack chat with all the other Denton guys? Ugh. All right, I need that mass manipulation back. that mass manipulation back. Hmm. I mean, I can, I can, so I can tap the Lyra for a turn, but like, where am I really, how is that really helping me too much? I tap and then attack for four. That's not really helping me. Oh, okay, cool. So can we race with a couple one ones? Like we have six Coming in, they have they gain five. No, I don't have a mono blue deck. I do not mind them casting that. Oh, whoops! I didn't scry on upkeep. The tithe taker is not a bad one to draw anyway. Mm, do I want the second tithe taker? You'll probably be better than that. Okay. That's a real card. This is not going to work out too well for me. All right, I shouldn't attack with these. Okay, this is this is just not a good plan by me. Never mind, that was just not a good plan. The whole Teferi tuck your Lyra, then you get to Kaya's wrath. Hey, Doc, I don't think I can... I don't think I can not say the word sporting or the word good. Goods for that. So I didn't play Teferi because Lyra would kill Teferi. If I play Teferi and tuck Lyra, it just lets them Kai's Wrath away my creatures pretty easily. And I was worried about them having a counter spell where I need the counter spell, or I need like my negate to protect my Teferi kind of thing. Oh, come on, deck. Help me out here. Give me another spell. Any spell. All right, that's a spell. That's a spell. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. You know what? I'm not done yet. Because I want them to Kai's Wrath away their Lyra. <laughs> now we're definitely playing a third deck. Been a long league though. Oh, don't tap my treasure cove. Ugh.
Hold that thought. Attack. This is just you a have small been analyzed and my found genius wanting. Uh, Night Owl donated for the Jeskai Wizards. Uh, just saying, Night Owl just said just to play it uh, towards the end of the deck any day. Or end of the day. Yeah, play it towards the end of the day any day. And so I, it looks like how late this is going. We're going to be pushing Jeskai Wizards. No! Mataferi. So if I, okay, so they go to 11, we have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Dang it, I don't quite have lethal. So close. One point off. If I don't block, we are one point off of having lethal if they can tempt to ferry. You know, we would have had 10 power, they would go to 11 with the contempt. Hey Rilo, how's it going? It's going very going very well. Had a really good stream today. Played some fun decks. That Demir Zombie Mill was just so much fun. We will meet again. And we've played a lot of good close games here. I will fuck good choice. These contraptions have their uses. I thought I was going to have to wrath away this Lyra here pretty soon. I want to play another Tithe Taker. Probably not. So even if they have a removal spell for my Thopter token. Uh, it's getting jumpy here. It's getting late in the late in the match. It's starting to get jumpy. I honestly just don't know enough about everything of like why that happens when it's late in the game and everything. I just, I just don't. These results are an anomaly, not to be repeated. So they're at ten. They're not wrathing yet. You may 
regret that choice. We're getting there, Hawkeye. We're grinding our opponent down with all these treasure maps. This has got to be Kai's Wrath here. <laughs> yeah, Mumford and Sons are really big in the States. Oh, maybe a third Tithe Taker was checkmate there. So they're they're looking for a counter spell. Like if they find absorb, I guess it's not necessarily so bad. Counter that, because I don't care about Kaya's Wrath. Good game. Alright, Hawkeye, okay. we're going to game three. Sky Tether Alira. That's kind of crazy. You don't usually see. They attacked with Lyra like eight times and still died. And we never we never killed Lyra. You don't see that very often. All right, Hawkeye. Can we get this one? So yeah, if if we lose um, after this, after I close out the YouTube recording, we will be doing the the Dick Sporting Good bounty. So uh, of course, you know they'll go back and watch that. So if you have anything good to say, not just making not just making some joke about their name, but anything good to say about Dick Sporting Goods, especially. Baseball. That's the thing, is like, it's about uh, baseball season starting up. It'd be nice to add that in the chat. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> it has been basically an hour per match. That's what it seemed like. But we've only been, we've been playing it for around two hours, 20 minutes or so. I think just kind of looking at the the clock and like when we started, I, I I'm estimating around two hours twenty minutes. This is our fourth fourth match. Yeah, go Rangers, go Rangers, Hawkeye, go Rangers. I will I gladly point assault. out your inadequacies. Go angels. Angels and rangers have always been rivals. They had a pretty big rival with like the whole Adrian Beltray, Josh Hamilton stuff. Uh, kind of want to tick up. There is elegance in simplicity. Go Cubs. Yeah, I like the Cubs. They got. My boy Yu Darvish is one of my favorite players.
Ugh. Get your cat butt off the screen. No, I'm not, Rilo. No, my Tazeret. My Tezerax. My Artifice Master. You only have two cards in hand? That's not very many cards. Uh... Dang it. Might have been just a good card to draw and play without scrying. My inventions bring joy to me and others. Alright, so we'll have Dovin Ultimate next turn. No, this one's not my brew. This is, as you can see here, this was a, donate, a donation deck that we had somebody donate for. Um, I was confident this would work. Again, I am proven right. Hmm. I think I want Arch of Araska, another Dovin, and a History. Next turn I can play History plus Dovin. Assuming this Dovin dies. Which isn't necessarily a fair assumption. No, the second Divine Visitation does nothing. of my genius. Let's add this battle to your record of your bad decisions. Hmm. So I have the two mass manipulations and one to fairy. They can deal with Lyra. But only has one card. We whittled their cards down pretty well, but now they have Ascanta active, though. So, so much for whittling their cards down. Hey, Dutch, good evening. <laughs> yeah, this board state again? Yep. Talk about not killing our opponent for a long time. Here we are. We didn't see very much with our Dovin ultimate last last time. Until you have lived as a statue, hmm. do not talk to me of pigeons. How convenient. An excellent choice. Not just a gadget, but ingenuity. All right, let's see what we got. This has been an exhausting couple games. All right, you're going to... Kill my token and kill the Dovin. That's fine. Did play a risky. There. Even with my insight, I didn't foresee this. So after the ultimate, they all went to the bottom, right? Yeah, but they went to the bottom in a random order. So 
So it's kind of likely we find a mass manipulation here. Or not. Or yes. Or not. Hmm. So I can get... I can grab Disdainful Stroke. There's no accounting for luck. Maybe yours will hold. I'm inspired by a kind of want to minus two this Karn. No. Are you certain of your decision? Just keep going through the deck, looking for the cards that matter. So we know the so that we have 37 left. We know the bottom nine cards. So that's only 28 cards left, and we haven't seen the Teferi or we still have like two Tezzerets, Teferi, two Mass Manipulation. Mass manipulation, come on. Tilt. Manipulation. Hooray! We did it. One. I think we have to use a treasure, right? Oh no, we do not need to use a treasure. What was lost is now returned. Let's grab that. Let's get some loyalty this on Dovin. No mere trinket. We can count our Kai's Wrath now. Using both our treasures. Tilt. I'll take the sample stroke. But we're still looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the, the deal is about that. Uh, they keep switching sides kind of thing. I'll make use of that later. I can play new Karn and grab that negate. I think I can probably just wait though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's shock in here. This tech gimmick is worth it. Yeah, it's some kind of glitch bug or something that has the Lyras dancing around. Oh, I bet this song was all about like whenever the Royals won the World Series. I bet this this song was everywhere. Probably just like their opening song. That's convenient. More cards. Complete and ready for All right, disdainful stroke. Deploy and uh, history banalia. Return and a negate.
Alright, we'd have to go to discard anyway. Let's go ahead and just play another history out there. I think we're looking pretty good. Looks like we're gonna go to the final boss, Hawkeye. Yeah, final boss. That's spooky, isn't it? Spooky final boss. All right, let's, okay, let's do another reset. There you go, get those final boss playlists. Or <laughs> I'm getting to the final boss playlist. We get those final boss emotes there in the chat. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, this deck's been doing pretty well. A bunch of rares and mythics thrown together. Not so bad. Not so bad. Whoever donated this good stuff. Yeah, this was... Uh, Julius. Which Julius has had a lot of donation decks, and this is a pretty nice one. Mulligan. Alright, we'll see if our divine visitation is enough to win for us. Yeah, I love all those final boss emotes in there. Gates. Gates. Alright, you can have your life. We did already play against four color gates earlier. We did note how difficult Gatebreaker Ram is for us game one. The seal away is our main removal spell. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Divine Visitation is just creature tokens. We don't get to flip treasure map and make treasure tokens and turn them all into angels. Just like instant speed. Here's like three, four, four angels. Yeah, if they have Gilgate plus Circuitous route, they can kill us. I got Breeding Pool. Summit. So we can gain a life. We can have two four fours. And we'll be at six. I don't know. What's better? Like, what could I really find? I mean, I guess Depose Deploy, which we have two of, is like our best defensive card here. Yeah, I just don't, I don't have any removal for those things, do I? I think this is our second best card besides Depose Deploy. Can we win with our second best card? Is the question. Oh, Deputy. Right, we are playing Deputies. Alright, I guess we'll try to 
ditch it and all right we'll keep that silent obedient perfection so we'll gain three and have three four fours we can double block one ram and then do I single block the other or I think I may just let the other one hit me. It's the exact same way we died. The exact same way we died to Gates before was Banefire. Both games... So now, we've lost three games to Gates so far in this league, and all three games have been because of Banefire. All three games have been just Banefire. Alright, so all 15 are coming in. Tithe Taker. Cutting one seal away. Um, what else? The Deputies come out. And what, I cut Dovin? The last time. And a visitation. I think I cut to pose deploy last time, but I think I want to pose deploy. Yeah, last time I just cut the two to pose deploys. Now, manip manipulation is really good against Krasis. Like, taking their crisis, but... I don't know, maybe it's not that great. It, like, takes their crisis, then they have to use a sweeper on it, that kind of stuff. Or, take yeah, taking their colossus is also usually pretty good. Could just play one, I suppose. We kind of need Divine Visitation in this matchup. I'm back with the third visitation. We we really need it. Yeah, deputy is a good answer against crisis. It's bad against everything else. Just get swept up with all the other cards. Or all the other creatures. Their deck plays millions of sweepers. And a 1-3 is not what you want for like 10, 15 turns. We've seen how long these games go. Like the, We're not ending the game quickly most of the time. And that 1-3 that just doesn't do anything. I'm hoping this history can do a lot of damage, though. We'll see. Nope, it cannot. Alright, so these tokens are just useless. So that ram's trading with my history and my sky tether. On deck. Wow. That was very bad for my opponent. Very good for me. Double block. You're both blocking, right? You're blocking? Okay. Get that ram out of here.
Well, see, whenever I kept the six land hand, we're not supposed to just draw only lands. Like, we're not supposed to draw four lands out of our next five cards. We drew one Sky Tether and four lands. Like, just mathematically, we shouldn't be drawing all these lands. Like, there's just not... It just should not be happening. Hooray! We drew a spell. Dang. They had a spell. Hooray, we drew a spell. Dang, they had a spell. Guild Summit so broken. We're dead. Final boss defeated us very quickly there. We died. So, with the deck... Honestly, we had a lot of good things going on. Tezzeret's awesome. Oh, we only had two Tezzerets? I thought we had three. Tezzeret is awesome. Divine Visitation was really good. Uh, Dovin was, like, surprisingly good. Karn did a, a good amount for us. Treasure Map was really good. We had we had some good things going on. A couple of problems. Deputy Detention, just like I was talking about beforehand. It was it was really good against a Simic deck, but overall it's just not a reliable removal spell. We have to have rel more reliable removal spells. Even if, we're, even if Gates has cards like Crushing Canopy and Knight of Autumn. They have ways to destroy enchantments. We just have to have, like, Ixalan's Binding or some kind of enchantment removal instead of Deputy Detention. It's just... It's just not good in a deck that is designed to take tons of turns and, and play a long game. Like, this, you know, as we saw, like, it was a very long league. The games were very long. We can't just have this 1-3 that, you know, doesn't really attack and just sits on the battlefield and is just so incredibly vulnerable. It was... You know, okay, against the Simic deck again, but that was a, a big problem. Another big problem was besides Deputy, there's no cards here that get rid of that get rid of Guild Summit. You know, against the Gates decks, the Guild Summits were were a huge problem. And and uh, and everything. Teferi was honestly just really good for us. I mean, Teferi's just a great card. We probably just could use some more Teferis in the deck instead of Deputies. Like, if the deputies are just more Teferis or, and Bindings and things like that. You know, reliable removal spells also. Um, but, I mean, those are those are definitely holes that could, could be kind of fixed. But overall, pretty impressive showing for the deck. And it did really well. You know, 4-2. and two, That's a very solid league. So... The and our first loss was was probably my fault. You know, like it was a really close game three that I thought we just had in the bag, and our our gates opponent actually had a settle where I could have looked at three cards um, when we only had like seventeen left, and we had like three counter spells for settle, and I could have looked at three cards before combat, but I just went to combat and attacked. Um, so we would have had like a three three cards to look to counter their their spell while we were attacking for lethal. So we could have. Could have definitely won the first one, too, if if I would have played that a, a little better around Settle the Wreckage. But there we go. That's Azorius Visitation. So, yeah, thanks, Julius, for that donation deck there. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe.